A prominent Saudi Arabian journalist is still missing after entering his country's consulate in Istanbul on Tuesday. The disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi led to a series of meetings between Saudi and Turkish officials. In Ankara, the foreign ministry summoned Saudi's ambassador for a meeting and similar discussions took place in the Saudi capital. Turkey says it believes Khashoggi is still in the consulate, but Saudi officials deny that he's in custody. The journalist is known for criticising the policies of the Saudi crown prince. Well, let's get uh, more on this now. Ahmed Aliolo, TRT World's editor-at-large, is outside the Saudi consulate. What's going on there? What's the latest on his disappearance? Well, we're in front of the consulate where uh, Mr. Khashoggi, the famous, well-known uh, Saudi journalist, entered this place on Tuesday. Until this moment, nobody, including his relatives, know the whereabouts of the journalist. He went inside this consulate to finish some paperwork, as his fiance told us, and he didn't show up till that moment. There are serious concerns among the activists. The uh, journalist behind me just finished a, a press conference and now they're having some questions about what's going on and the whereabouts of the journalist. Uh, the uh, embassy here, uh, the, 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 uh, the ambassador here in Turkey was summoned a, a days ago and uh, he was asked about the destination uh, that the, uh, the journalist is going to. But nobody to so far knows exactly where he is. There are some conflicting reports between Ankara and Saudi Arabia and we're here to know more about him, what's going on. What we know about him that he used to be the editor-in-chief of the uh, Saudi daily newspaper Al-Watan and he's a major contributor to the Washington Post. He was very vocal in his criticism against the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, MBS Mohammed bin Salman. He was uh, with the reform, but he also asked the, uh, the Crown Prince to release the activists that they are still in prison as the, the Crown Prince started a major crackdown on the dissent. And that was the major point that led to uh, Mr. Khashoggi self-exile in the United States since 2017, where he wrote to the Washington Post that I left my home, I left my family in order to uh, be the voice of those who cannot speak. And if I don't do that, I would be betraying those who languish in prison in Saudi Arabia. Does this look as if it might blow up into something of a diplomatic standoff between the two countries, between Saudi Arabia and Turkey? Well, everybody knows, Jimmy, that the, the relationship between Saudi Arabia and Turkey is very strategic. Nobody in the two parties is willing to take this to more uh, escalation. That's why you have this diplomatic negotiation going on, the summoning of the ambassador here and in Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, in order to understand and, you know, reveal the secret behind this ambiguous disappearance of the journalist. But so far, everybody is cautiously speaking about the issue, waiting for this to be released. What we know from here that he entered this embassy and didn't come out on his feet. That's what they, his finance, his fiancé told us. Now, on the other hand, the Saudis are saying that he left the embassy, the consulate here in Istanbul, and they didn't know where he, he's gone. So we're waiting to see what, how this is going to uh, develop in the coming few hours. Ahmed, for the moment, thank you very much. We'll come back to you during the course of uh, the coming hours, but for the moment, thank you.